Hey guys, it's Diana. Welcome back to my channel. And today I thought we'd talk about the backup spooky books I have on my list to read for this month. If you've been following my videos, you know that I was trying to read spooky books during the month of October, and I do this pretty much every year. And they don't necessarily have to be full-on spooky, they just have to be atmospheric and good to read during the season. And I mentioned I was trying to read Renee Adi's The Beautiful and Rory Powers' Wilder Girls. I'm still trying to read them, I'm gonna be real with you, I'm probably not gonna get through them. I'm probably not gonna get through, like, the majority of the books on this list, but I did have a pile stacked up just in case I wanted to switch out. And I'm doing Dewey's 24-hour readathon tomorrow, so if you need some spooky wrecks, Keep watching. The first book from my pile is Long Lankin by Lindsay Barclough. I think this is actually going to be one of the spookier books. There's this old isolated village and shit goes wrong in it and there's this story about Long Lankin coming to steal people away and it just sounds really creepy. It opens with this really weird freaky nursery rhyme that people sing and I am always here for that. I like books that have built-in mythology and if you're singing creepy nursery rhymes I'm probably gonna want to know what that's all about. But basically this girl is sent to live with family in this isolated village and with the help of two other towns boys they're trying to figure out what the frick's going on there. The next book I have in my pile is House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. This book is pretty Pretty hype on booktube right now and it comes highly recommended to me by a bunch of different friends. Plus it is a retelling of the 12 dancing princesses story and I am almost not at all familiar with that story. I mean I've heard it vaguely mentioned different places throughout my reading career. Reading career sounds like I have a job reading and I well I wish I had a job reading. Like I super wish I had that job. Can that be a job? Like can I just do that as like a career? Anyway there's this manor by the sea and these girls start dying in weird ways and one of the girls is like this doesn't seem at all normal so I'm gonna try and figure out what's going on there. And like I said a lot of people are talking about this book. A lot of people are really liking it so I'm actually kind of excited now. The next book from my pile is Lily Anderson's Undead Girl Gang. I love Lily Anderson. One of my favorite standalones is The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You. So I'm always on board to read more of her work. And this is about a girl whose friends die mysteriously and she's really not okay with that so she brings them back from the dead to figure out how they died because they died under super mysterious circumstances and when they come back they don't remember anything but they're gonna try and figure it out together and this more than anything sounds like a lot of fun it sounds like more comedy horror than horror horror and I am always up for some comedy horror the next book from my pile is Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscola I like this series more than I ever thought that I would I've read Stalking Jack the Ripper and I've read Hunting Prince Dracula and I really enjoyed them this is about a girl named Audrey Rose and her companion Thomas Cresswell and they sort of investigate weird shit together Audrey Rose is super into like science and corpses. Not exclusively, she also has other interests, but she's really interested in the STEM aspects of life. She's apprenticed to her uncle who works in a laboratory. This is not at all what girls of this century should be doing. She should be like crocheting or knitting or some shit, but she is not about that life. She's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, I want to see the dead bodies, I want to figure out how they died. Which good for you girl, because I mean that shit's awesome. So she goes about investigating all this weird shit with her uncle and her uncle's other assistant Thomas, who is super swoon worthy and I kind of like him more than I should. And so does Audrey Rose by the way, we have that in common. At first they didn't really get along, but, but they're getting along pretty well now if you know what I mean. Anyway this series is a lot of fun and I like the way it ties historical figures into its mythology. The last book from my pile is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. Victoria Schwab is an auto by author for me, I will read anything she writes ever, I love her work. And this is about a girl who was brought back to life after drowning and as a result of this she can see ghosts. And of course one of her best friends happens to be one of said ghosts and his name is Jacob. And together they get in all sorts of shenanigans and start investigating stuff. I'm sensing a theme here with me. I like investigation stories. I like detectives. I like mysteries. If you can tie your mystery to horror I'm gonna be such a big fan. I'm actually listening to this on audiobook. I checked it out from Hoopla and I'm liking it so far. And those are all the books in my pile for the month of October. I tried to include straight up spooky and spooky adjacent books because I know some people can't really do full on horror, but I found a good alternative to that for the season are detective stories. They usually contain some of the more subtle elements of horror without being full on scary. So if you wanted me to make a video on some of my favorite YA mysteries or detective books, let me know in the comments and I will be happy to do that for you because I love me a good mystery. In fact, it was my first love genre. I'm pretty sure I read mostly mystery books for the first 14 years of my life. Anyway, that's all from me. If you have any spooky recommendations or spooky adjacent recommendations, please let me know in the comments. I am always looking for books to add to that list. And if you're one of those people that can't do spooky books, let me know what you're reading instead of them. Like I said, I'll probably be doing Dewey's 24 hour readathon tomorrow. I'm gonna try and vlog it, but I am a terrible vlogger, so I don't know if that's gonna happen. But if you're vlogging it, let me know and drop your socials in the comments so I can follow your progress. Anyway, that's all from me. As usual, have a fantastic day and be excellent to each other. Bye!